Viv Woodland, a postal worker in Brattle, walks around Spruce Street neighborhood while delivering mail on Friday, February 2nd, 2024. Justin Taylor, owner of ESK Productions, and Kayla Cummings, owner of Kayla Cummings Knives, created a joint studio on Arch Street in Brattleboro to work on their custom fabricated products. Center Congregational Church is the home to many different religions, giving everyone a space to pray or meditate how they feel. Brattleboro hosts MAU in a boys basketball game on Friday, February 2nd, Since it's founded in 1981, Green Mountain Spinnery uses vintage equipment to mill yarns of the highest quality in its Putney shop. Going from raw wool to a carding machine that's over 100 years old to yarn spinning onto bobbins reminiscent of the 1920s, the wool travels a traditional process on its way to becoming yarn. in a girls basketball game on Monday, February 5th, 2024.
Central School to tell stories. It's called story weaving. It's taking stories that flow through from ancestry and time and mixing with the stories and the, the words that come through from the students uh, to tell a story in a new way. And what I like to call it is Afrofuturism as opposed to black history because we're taking the fuel of the history to create a rocket ship to the future. And so I started playing this probably 25 years ago. It was given to the story that this flute has to tell. Another story. And this is the story that comes from... Hinsdale, New Hampshire Police Detective David Upton helps Isaiah Barker, a senior at Hinsdale Middle High School during Barker's extended learning opportunities on Tuesday, February 6, 2024. Okay. Literally just like that around his finger. Fire this cuff right in here into this notch. Pull his arm away. Push it down. So you see these little pinholes? Yeah. Push them in. There you go. Go to the next one. Yep. Search. Yep. Oh, we're gonna search. Oh, babe, not a skis. Stephanie Wood, a driver for Coda and Coda Fuel Oil in Bells Falls, delivers fuel to customers around the area even when the temperatures drop. Kindergartners and first graders at Academy School make custom Valentine's Day cards for the residents of Pine Heights at Brattleboro Center for Nursing and Rehabilitation on Wednesday, February 7, 2024. Carrie Seacrest, Honorary Consul of Lithuania to Vermont, partnered with the Wyndham World Affairs Council for a talk, Reflections at the Two-Year Mark of the Russian Invasion of Ukraine. To weaken the prestige of tyrants. With me. The question now is whether Russian authorities will allow public openly call for a fight. <laughs> Yeah, they're going to so write it want, up there. Do you want your name in it? This is a Subaru Loves to Help event where we're giving away 180 coats to the, the kids of the community of Brattleboro. Black and blue. Ooh, black and blue. Yeah. That one? Perfect. Oh, that's nice. you. So you're good? People explore downtown Brattleboro to try different drinks and foods in a pop-up style Valentine's Day shopping during the Downtown Brattleboro Alliance Brat Love Crawl 2024 on Thursday, February 8th, 2024. Good. 
Can you try it? Get all the angles. That looks like it would be delicious. For these videos and more, go to reformer.com, head to the multimedia tab for more content.